Hey boys and girls, here we are. We're practicing our Z's this week. So we knew that Z was for zebra and Miss Jones told you to go across the sky, slide left down to the ground and walk across the ground. We can also make a Z using our special words and some of them Miss Easter even went over on our blending board. Two of the words we're gonna work on are zig and zag. Zig and zag, so we can say zig across the top, slide down for a zag and zig on the bottom. So zig, zag, zig. All right, so we're gonna do some zigzag works. And if you look, next week we're gonna be talking more about the zoo animals' habitats. And if you get to go to a zoo, in an overview, if they had a picture from the sky or from a drone or a plane, you might see the zoo and the different habitats or enclosures for the animals. Ms. Heaster talked about how we can't put the meat eaters in with the herbivores. So the carnivores of tigers and lions, they have to be separated so they don't eat the other one. So if we look, the path around the zoo is like a zig woo! And as they go crashing down, no problem, they can go zigzag. So zigzag, zigzag, zig. We're going to do some zigzag uh, activity and some cutting. We got to practice those cutting skills. So we're going to come over to our circle of animals that have visited our classroom and we're going to do a special activity. And we're going to start off with um, paper. You can use colored construction paper, white paper. Parents, this one to start is going to kind of be more for you. You are going to make, um, well actually to make it easier, I took my papers and just regular papers or construction papers and folded them in four and then cut them up so that they weren't quite so big and cumbersome for the kids to cut. So just like that and then you can cut it again. So you have groups of four pieces of paper. It makes it a little bit easier for the children to cut as well as <clears throat> um, for you to work on. So you are going to make some zigzags. You can start off by doing some dotted lines and you can have them trace them before they cut. So you're practicing their cutting and they're tracing and you can just keep on going once you decide on a size. These are, can be some bigger ones. Whoops, wasn't, it wasn't really dotted there, but you just keep dotting. All right, and then the student can go back and trace them before they cut them. Or you can just make some regular zigzag lines and have them cut them. Maybe some of both would be great. Some tracing practice and some cutting practice. Maybe you're tracing practice on white and if you have construction paper, same thing. You have construction paper, if you fold it in four and then cut it up. I uh, like that. And then you just cut on the lines. I cut up a whole bunch of them so that I had them all ready for us. So there's a whole bunch of colors if you have a bunch of colors. So white or colors, doesn't matter. And then I traced some on here. I did some big ones. And then you would just continue with the big ones. Or you can do it as zigzag lines. So there's some examples of different sizes. And then you have them cut them. So children, as you're cutting, let's see, I started a couple. So as you're cutting, remember our skills. We go and we stop when the line stops. We cut and stop. Then we turn the paper, cut and stop. Turn again, cut and stop. When the line stops, you stop, cut and stop. Then you'll have lots of cool zigzag lines. Turn the paper, cut and stop. So we have all these zigzag pieces. And I had cut a bunch out, so you can practice cutting some big ones, some medium ones, some other ones, then even get a little smaller. And if you want some smaller sizes, parents, we can fold it in half and cut it and cut again, and then just cut the smaller ones. Or as they cut out their whole big strip, cut them in half. Because once you have all these lovely zigzag pieces, then you can make a design. So you practice cutting out your zigzag pieces and you can put them together on another piece of paper. You can do designs, you can do flowers, you can do superheroes, you can make all kinds of things. And I went ahead and I made a design. So on this design, I took some of my big zigzags 
and some of my medium ones and smaller and then even smaller ones that I did with the half a sheet of the quarter paper or you can cut it and cut it in half and so I just made kind of a burst and kind of a geometric design there but you can do anything you can make green for grass and even if you only have white paper at home you can cut out your designs and color them in so either way there's some fun designs and have fun zigzagging I want to see some really cool zigzag pictures on Vidigami or send them to my email and hold them up or you can even share them on our class meeting on Friday. So have a great time zigzagging.